Brian, we talked in our preview, um, in our pre-interview about um, how to build in that trust and safety as you scale. And that's kind of what you talked about with, with the layering. Can you go a little bit more in depth about how a, an entrepreneur, a business owner, can, can do that, that scalable layering for their information security and trust and safety best practices? Yeah, in the early days, this is how we handled it. And, and, and uh, it's like you, you, you look at the, the, the bad interactions on a platform and, and, and you start to just, you, you literally just spin your wheels just going from one to the next. And, and, and what we tried to do is we documented everything that happened. So it didn't matter if it was somebody who just didn't show up to mow the yard or somebody who, who got paid and, and uploaded the wrong photo of the completed work and never called the customer back or somebody literally who is not in the lawn mowing business who was just looking to steal money, um, we would document every single one of these and we put them just in a simple Google Google sheet. And, and then we would try to distill that down into commonalities, okay? So now we have we have uh, 50 issues of, of, of negative outcomes that have occurred over the, over the last few months and let's let's distill them down into okay these are like the six buckets and then of those buckets let's look at what are the most most severe and what are what's happening uh the most frequently and then let's let's let's, let's hone in on that and let's try to figure out how we can prevent that from happening and then implement a real documented response to it when it does happen so it could be uh it could be somebody showed up or somebody signed up on the platform and and was just trying to uh, steal people's money okay well we need to ask ourselves why five times why did that happen and how did they get through our safeguards and implement a scalable solution to where we don't have to deal with that anymore and then we can work our way down the list so really it's almost like a it's almost like an emergency room. You're just triaging. You're always triaging to what is happening the most and what is the most severe and implementing some kind of preventative scalable solution to not deal with it anymore. Yeah, and I like that triage, that triage uh, metaphor because technically, you know, being in fraud mitigation and fraud prevention, that landscape is ever evolving. These fraudsters are always coming up with a way uh, to, to get some money out of somebody or, you know, to defraud in some sort of way. So it is like a triage situation because it's something you'll always have to be vigilant about.